welcome, welcome back everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a problem. This right here is the GameCube. Right here is the Retron NES. You might be thinking, yes, I am going to start retro collecting. I have five games, four for the GameCube, one for the NES. One for the NES is the Ninja Gaiden. It is a ninja fighting game. It's, it's a ninja platformer. You might be thinking, how does this cartridge get on the system? You see this like little tab right here. It's like a, it's like a Genesis. So you it's just put it in right there, like that, and then boom. I mean, you're good. You're ready to play. It's hard to get out though. I mean, you do have this little tip right here. You see that? You see that little tip? That's where you put the out with. Yeah, this console is pretty one of the kind. It's a better top loader in my opinion because the controller looks still looks like NES controller. It's got like these little padded sides right here. It's got these cool little buttons. Right here. It's got the buttons right here. The D pad. D pad looks cool. Start and select buttons. Kind of look the same, you know, I got wires on them. Yeah, you can see a little bit, they look the same. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just the improved NES. It's a little smaller. Um, the hookup is AV cables, yellow and white, and the power is the uh, USB. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't come with the USB box, but you probably got one hanging around somewhere. I know, I know, I have a lot <laughs> of that. Um, yeah, and uh, this console cost me 30 this console cost me $30 at Second Charles. $30, clean Ninja Gaiden, cost me $30. This game, this console is really cool. It's just tiny, it's just pretty tiny, but it's still really cool. All right, now you heard of it. GameCube, awesome game. It's an awesome, it's an awesome console with, with the instructable, Closing lid, the sass, satisfying noise that the lid makes. Uh, my games I have that is for, I, I show this in my other video. What I have for it is Ty the Tasmanian 3. It is a adventure game. It's an adventure game, it's the color red. Look at that, that's, that's a cool game, isn't it? Look at that right there, that, that's a cool game. It's, all right. it's pretty cool. And this game is I just picked this up is NCAA Football 2004. It was a disc only game. It's it's a gray. It's a gray one. And um it's pretty it's pretty cool. Like that. I got the memory card right here. Um it's a Wii memory card. I mean, but the but it still fits right here. You see so you just plug it in right there like that. It's pretty cool. Let me enjoy that. Alright. Man 2003. Rest in peace, John Madden. Rest in peace. Now, this game has is pretty cool. It uh, came, I bought this for like $4.95. It's pretty cool. It's got this little, little disc right here. Little disc. I mean, what is with these and baby discs? I mean, they just kind of made the CDs. No CDs, but they couldn't because the console would fit. I mean, you can get a 3D printer to replace this whole part and you can fit CDs in here, but I ain't doing that, man, because like, I love these baby discs. <laughs> and then the last game right here is the Happy Feet. Happy Feet is a one of a kind <laughs> video game. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this this is a this is an interesting game. I would say that. I mean, but I just I just don't know how to explain it, man. I mean, it's just basically they're just taking the whole story out of the movie. Like most movie games, would like take a different story, take something different. But like in uh, Shrek the video game, but they but they don't have it for this. It's just just they just take it out of the movie. But how the game goes in there is I open this this up with this button, take this, and you slide it in there, close it, 
turn the power on, you're done playing the game. And you might be thinking, I just take out the disc like this. I mean, I already showed you guys this, but just take it out like that. All right, that's it. I'll see you next time.